To begin drawing portrait proportions, you'll need your pencil set with your main eraser sharpener and your blending stick and a kneaded eraser. You'll also want to have your portrait out and this is going to show you the main structure of drawing a portrait. And a portrait is a work of art of a human being from their shoulders on up, so including all of their head. And um, typically, if you're using kind of a regular size paper, I suggest starting with the size of your hand and marking approximately the height of the head. And then every person has a unique head shape and we are symmetrical. So if you lightly draw a vertical line, so light you can barely see it, and one half of the face is typically about the same as the other side. No human being is exactly symmetrical. We all have some slight differences between our left and our right side, and some people's chins are slightly different. Okay, and then, so this was the halfway point right here. Now we're going to find the other halfway point, trying to equally divide these sections. And I like to put a little mark here, and then you can do comparative measurement with your pencil. So that needs to go down just a little bit. Yep. So again, right here, that is also halfway. So we've just made the structure of the face. And then if you're looking at a mirror or the photograph, your neck starts in just a little bit from the outer part here. And there is a slight curve to it. And then typically the width of the head is however wide the shoulders are. So if I'm looking at this width here, and I use my pencil to do comparative measurement, my shoulder would technically come off the page. So do not put little teeny tiny shoulders like this. That is a no-no. Instead, if you're drawing a photo or a portrait to fill the page, you will most likely need the shoulders to come off the edge of the paper. Again, make sure each shoulder is approximately the width of the head. And it does slope down ever so gently. And then you could, of course, indicate whatever type of shirt or clothing they are wearing. Okay. So in here we've got the main structure for the proportions of a generic face shape. And again, we've used measurements here halfway halfway, and then the shoulder is the width of the head there. And that is how to do the main structure of the head.